senior Seth Buchanan he is our feature for week five high school football coming up to West Point Beamer here at home this week you guys are four and oh just what's been the the best part of this this start what's been the the, the most fun you guys have had do you expect to be four and oh at this point or what's I, this like I wouldn't say necessarily expected but I feel like I was we were all confident enough we could be a good team and with the schedule we play you have to be very poised and get things done up front and everywhere in order to be 4-0 I mean we played three top 10 teams so it's it's it can be tough but we're on that road right now is there any one moment or any one of those first four games where you kind of felt like you guys had something special uh after the Aquinas game like during the Aquinas game when we we were down seven and to be poised enough to come back it's it takes like a stout team like Aquinas. It takes a lot of special guys to overcome a seven-point deficit in the late minutes of the fourth quarter in order to get a win there. So playing center, you get to touch the ball every play, but not like you know, last year when you were a tight end and caught a few touchdown passes. And, and just what was that like in the offseason, the conversation you had with the coach when he told you you're moving to center and, and all, that, all that comes with that and having to be you know the one guy left over from last year's offensive line? Uh, I kind of expected after last year because, you know, I'm not really the, the tight end type. I knew I was probably going to have to move on the interior because we were losing all those guys. And coach was just like, yeah, it's, it's going to have to be a sacrifice. And I was willing to make it because I just want this team to win. Um, I just want us to be good. And, you know, if I have to move to center, then here I am. Do you expect the line to come together as quickly as it has? I don't know. Um, I feel like, yes, I was confident in us to become the line we can be, and we're, we're still not there. We're still working on we're still working through things right now. But I would say probably, yeah, I would probably say we were. I was confident in us. How much fun is it to block for this offense when, you know, one week Trenton Chalaha can throw for 300 yards, and the next Devin Borchers can run for 250 and six touchdowns? You never, The defense never quite knows what you guys are going to do. How much fun is that to be a part it's, of? It's a blast. I mean, I feel like our defenses are going to have a really tough time stopping us. We got we get guys, we can throw it, we can catch it, and we can run it down your throat if we want to. It's it's a blast. It's a lot of fun. All right, last thing, tell me about the T-shirts you guys had made for sort of the mindset you've had as an offensive line. Uh, we had nasty shirts made after week two. Uh, yeah, after week two. And it was more uh, Luke Prismas and his parents started it. Like, you know, you got to be nasty with our, with your schedule. You got to be nasty up front in order to, to win games. And we've been wearing them on Thursdays ever since, and we've got a win ever since. So I think we're going to keep that tradition going. All right, Seth, we'll see you Friday, man. Thank Thanks. you.